is what we call quality. It's like a koala bear. It's sleeping on the quality. Boys, ladies and gentlemen, people of all ages, people of all alike things, I welcome you to our latest and greatest project. We are doing a full, complete wide body kit on a beautiful 335i behind me. Everything, engine bay, custom color, you name it, we're doing it right here. And I'm very excited about it for being trusted with the car, for having the car here, and being able to go through all these steps of you, be able to bring you guys along for the ride, tell you guys what's going on, and kind of walk you through each and every detail that we're doing and what we're doing to go about this. Now with this car, we are doing a, a multitude of things. We are first installing a Street Fighter LA wide body kit. Secondly, we are shaving all of the parts, doing a custom carbon fiber fender vent kit for this. Being this is a 335, it does not have M3 fenders, so they don't make any carbon vents for this car, so that means we have to make them. I'm super excited about that. Secondly, we did not like the fitment of this kit so far. We would mess with a few things, we kind of toyed around here and there, and the fitment on this car is just not subpar. It's just not good, from my opinion, from my experience. Now to preface, this car came from a previous body shop. Um, I'm saying body shop because I think it was a TikToker trying to build the car for this guy and um, it was just absolute failure. I'll post some pictures, show you guys in the next coming up what I'm talking about. It just wasn't quality work, wasted the guy's time and just was not good overall. So that's here to do it completely right, 110%, no shortcuts and do it the way it was meant to be done. What we have here is pieces that don't really fit. We have a rear bumper that uh, it's very weird mounting. I uh, wasn't really happy with the way it mounted. The side skirts are a little too short and don't line up. And I'll go into all this in depth. This is going to be a multi-series process of how to do this yourself if you decide to do it. Or if you want to bring your car to me and have me do it, what all steps I take and I will do if you bring your car to me and how it will be done properly. So diving into our contestant here, this is a 2011 335i. This is um, got the kit generally mocked up. We have some fiberglass on here to hold the kit down after we panel bonded it. Walk you guys through the whole process here and dive into what all goes into this. I'm gonna dive you guys through the whole process of this, everything that's involved and what all it's going to take to make this build complete. I said, sorry for the long lengthy intro, but I had to get you guys up to speed, let you know what's going on, why I'm doing this and how we're gonna tackle this and make it so awesome. So tune in today's video, hit the like button, drop a subscribe. And if you're feeling a little bit frisky boys, hit that notification bell to not miss any future updates coming with this beautiful build right here. I'm ready to dive into it. Hope you guys are, let's go into it. So this is generally attached, not really, um, but this is why we have professionals uh, do wide bodies. Boys, this is um, not even attached anywhere. Do you see how easy that was to get off of this car? We have a Phillips head holding that in. Love that. Really just Bondo at that point. One screw and one body panel. So now if you see what we did, we did sand it uh, generally well, it seems, but there's no glue anywhere. There is like a tiny string amount of glue. There's a, we didn't even make contact with half of this and it didn't even like, I have never been able to pull this off. This is the right material. I have never been able to pull this off guys. Like you literally have to grind this stuff off. I don't even know if this is like black silicone or what we're working with here. This is ridiculous. It's like spongy. What the heck, dude? See, so, yeah, I'm not sure about you boys, but this is unacceptable and we cannot be having this. So we're gonna go ahead and tear this whole thing apart. We're gonna take everything apart, but we got it. Now this one is not as bad. Um, it hasn't fully broken except for right here. Um, we're still generally connected in this area. So uh, yeah, we're still generally connected, but we, uh, we're, we're very friendly. We're just waving around here. So uh, yeah. All right, folks, let's pop that guy off. And we pop this guy, and we can throw this away. So we're gonna take this little guy, and we're just gently gonna scrape this off. Um, because I am starting with a fresh base. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that. This is what we call quality. It's like a koala bear, it's sleeping on the quality. A lot of quality here. Yeah, that's what you love to see. And, oh, look, I don't even need the scraper. Yeah. Oh, do you want your scraper? No. I, I, I don't think that's required for this uh, type of, you know, job we've got here. I just don't want to break the kit. 
Okay, perfect, perfect. Wow. Yeah, this glue is not what you're supposed to use. It looks the same, I'll admit it looks like the same, but it's just not in here, right? I've never been able to pull this off. All right, we have some screws in here to help hold this down while it's being glued. We have everything nice and as flush as I can get it. Um, I had to cut it off from that previous glue on job or whatever you want to call that, but it's nice and flush. There's no gap anymore. I have it hold down here at the bottom. I have no idea what was going on. They were trying to cut here. I just had to smoothen it back out. We're gonna take a big layer of fiberglass and come up in here so this gets sealed. We don't need water getting up in here. Um, I have a nice seal on the back as well and everything fits really well. This actually made it up nicely, surprisingly, uh, against all of the odds we've been dealing with. So yeah, we're ready to go ahead and pop this guy back off. Go ahead and glue it. Stick it on here and let this thing cure overnight. Now here we dive into the passenger side. We can see I do have the back kind of made it up as nice as I can. There's no gap on the back. But as soon as we get to like this hole right here where I had to put the screw, this one does not line up at all when it's properly mounted. Um, we start to get terrible. I don't know if this is just the way the mold was made or what, but I can literally stick my hands behind here. And if I go ahead and push this guy, you're like, well, just go ahead and push them together. Yeah, that's like great and dandy. But then we get this guy to flare out all the way and that's just not gonna work. Um, I've tried to shave this down as best I can. Anything touching, I'm not even touching here. There's still a gap. I can still get my fingernail in here. So um, yeah, we're just gonna have to kind of build this up as uh, terrible as that sounds and kind of make this all fit together. Not the ideal solution here, but definitely not the worst. I've dealt with worse on that Audi we did, but this is just, um, yeah, this is um, gonna be interesting, boys. For this job, we're gonna be using the SIM 39747 panel adhesive. I usually use the 3M one, but this was readily available at our local supply store. So I went ahead and picked this up. I've used the SIM stuff before. Believe it or not, it's actually made in Rock Hill, South Carolina, which is like an hour from us. So that's super freaking cool. SIM is a very good product as well. I've used it plenty of times with our seam sealer. I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out with this adhesive. They used like seam sealer on this previously, and that's why it just didn't adhere, and I could literally just take my hand and pull it off. So we're gonna use the proper adhesive to glue this to the car and then we'll go about laying some fiberglass down after this guy cures. All right, we tried out my new Google and uh, it broke as you guys saw in the video. It's, um, yeah, it, it was not hitting on anything. So what we're gonna do here is I went and squeezed everything off the tube on a piece of cardboard. And you kind of use that as my, you know, template there. We're going to go ahead and line this back up. I had drew an outline with a little piece of pencil to help me align this back up to where I had it. You can kind of see my line here. And then these little black lines are where my bolts go to kind of help further align this guy. So see, we got a nice form up here. I'm understanding exactly where this piece needs to go. That's where it fitted up good with the door. Where it fitted up great with the back right here. And we're just going to go ahead and make sure we get this back in this area. I'm going to go ahead and put my screws back into my hole. You want to, yes, ensure that, that it's going to stay put and it's not going to go anywhere, but my goal is to not squeeze the glue all the way out from behind it. I want to be sure to make sure we can get these screws out later. I do not like leaving the screws or grinding the screw off. It's not my thing. Um, so I want to make sure that I'm able to get the screws out later. I'm also going to go ahead and go down here with this glue in the door jam to ensure I make a nice seam right here to transition whenever we go over top of it with fiberglass. Boys, and you know me, I'm not talking crap. I'm just laying some facts out here. I'm not name dropping any names, but please know who is working on your car. If you don't have me work on your car, just know that it's somebody that you trust. You have seen their work. It is quality. You actually know them. They have a legit thing going on and they're able to work on your car effectively and get it done right. Unfortunately, like what happened to Nick here, guys, it's just, it's not quality and now he's having to go through this again. It's more money, more time. I know you guys, you just want your car done and you deserve to have your car done properly. I'm not just boasting myself or saying you should bring it to me. Like I said, just bring it to somebody that you trust and you know about. Don't just look at their Instagram profile, see they, oh, they have a nice car. And then, oh, okay, yeah, you can definitely do my car too. No, boys, just look into it. Make sure they have a history. Make sure they have a good rapport and make sure they know what they're doing. Talk to them. See if they're very informative. They're very fluent in the topic. They're very fluent in the 
job they're gonna do. And they're very knowledgeable about the materials and just the things about that industry and that side of the degree. What's making me bring this up is here, I'm going to lay this stuff in here, but you can see this is smooth, okay? This is good, you know, yeah, okay, we want it glossy, but this was the bottom side. Okay, we didn't even sand this. And by we, I don't mean me, that the other people, like they did not even sand this. They just laid some, it doesn't even look like adhesive. It looks like silicone or like some seam sealer. Look at that. No sanding. That's what I mean, boys. Just please know who's working on your car. Know that you trust them, you believe in them, and they are very knowledgeable on what they're gonna be doing. Let's dive back into this. Right here, as you see, we have the whole car molded up. We have the body panel on the car. We have everything grinded off. We are about ready to go here. We are not exactly flush. Some of this did not fit as exactly ideally as I would like. I don't know if the mold just cured too quick, just wasn't formed correctly, or kind of what happened here. But for the most part, it fits pretty well. I have the back bumper we're using. We opted to not use the bumper with the kit due to having them remove the reinforcement, drill the holes. It was just kind of just a really weird bumper. And we opted to not use that guy. And we're using the factory bumper have it cut at the proper angle here to match this up and it's going to fit very nicely i do have a little issue with the side skirts also the fitment on those is kind of wonky as well doesn't really line up as good as you can see right here i'm not flush and then we come all the way to the back and voila i am uh, pretty flush and you could argue well quaid you probably didn't line it right well boys that's uh, entirely not correct because right here this um kind of like cups the uh, quarter panel and so it can only go so far so um if I would have pulled it back, it would have also made this come back. And I can't go any more forward because I would have to cut this off and then slide everything. And then my gas door would not line up. I would not have a gap in my door right here. So that's where I know it is an imperfection with the side skirt not being long enough. And you could also argue, well, quite gently on the fender up. Well, buddy, actually the fender has a very decent gap in it for what we are now. A little bit bigger at the top than the bottom. And I still don't line up. Boys, we're going to end this episode here. Thank you, boys, for watching. I love you guys so much. You're awesome. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what color you think the car is going to be. Best guess, we'll get a surprise. We're going to let this stuff cure, let it dry overnight, dive back into doing some fiberglass work, getting everything finalized on this, and then go to perfecting it and making it beautiful. If you like this video, drop it a huge like. Hit that subscribe button. And if you boys like to a little frisky, you know, want some content to dive into, hit that subscribe button, boys. You will not regret it. A bunch of cool stuff coming with this. We have some stuff with my car, and we have a surprise car that we just picked up for Caitlin coming to you soon.